Max Q, we are ready for your press conference, so look at the camera. There you go. All right, we're at the Mission Control Center, mm, and we have just a technical glitch for a second. There we go. All right, so Commander, would you uh, introduce everybody, please? Over. Okay, remember you have to be on MC2. Okay, I'm Cap. I'm the Commander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Commander Brumfield, and this is microgravity specialist <laughs> Zach Hines. And this is. Harley, the life scientist specialist, and over here is Jasmine, and she is the health and nutritionist. And I took over the robotic specialist job. <laughs> These, uh, there was a crew member who had to move just a couple weeks ago, so they've been really successful with just the four of them working hard. Good job, you guys. We're ready for some questions, so come on up. This is a question for Commander Kathleen. Uh, this is Neil Armstrong. And what was the most difficult or most challenging uh, task that you had uh, during the space mission? The most difficult task was probably keeping the crew like uncrazy and following orders because sometimes they would like <laughs> have their hyper moments and it went crazy. <laughs> well, good job because you guys look like you had a good day today. Hi, question for Zach Kine. What was the most awkward part of this mission? The most awkward part of this mission was probably having to wear a space suit whenever you went outside of the space station. Because like usually you just walk out, but adding on five more minutes was kind of awkward. This is for Harley. If you had another chance, would you do this again? I, I, yeah, I would definitely do this again. It was a really exciting, fun adventure and being with my friends and just kind of trying. It was a really big challenge, but it was fun. One other question. Uh, when you had the space suits on, was it difficult to, to put them on with the mustaches or did you shave them off? <laughs> they kind of just fell off. <laughs> they, so we just, they fell off and it was easy because they kind of hurt. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe you should tell us about the mustaches because I think the rest of the audience might not understand what we were doing with mustaches today. <clears throat> yeah, so for, for our spirit, for our da morning down link, and like I brought glasses with cool little monkey thingies and a hat. And then Zach, he brought the mustaches just for fun, and we kind of looked like we were like it was like a disguise, and so just for fun, and we had glow sticks, and yeah, it was really fun. So, uh, Jasmine, what was your favorite part of your day in space? Um, my favorite part was the exercising part, cause like yeah. I, I like that part. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I have a question for the commander, Kathleen. How did it feel to be to be in space for ten hours in this small area with people you didn't know yet? Well, there was basically one word to describe the whole journey. Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> like it was hard, but fun. Yeah. Uh, last question for Commander Kathleen. Uh, what was the most exciting task during the mission? The most exciting part was lunch. <laughs> because we got to eat after things dark for hours and hours. It was good. This is message for, or the, a question for microgravity specialist Zach. If you had this opportunity again, would you do anything differently? And if so, what? If I had this opportunity again, I would probably choose maybe to be a little more organized and a little more informed. That's excellent advice for anybody. Uh, I think that wraps up our questions, you guys. So let's hear your crew handshake before we sign off. <clears throat> Don't worry about moving the mic, Captain. Just do it nice and loud.